Hi everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Boombi. Did you know that you can even cook fish in your instant pot? In this video, I will show you how to make a delicious fish preparation which is very popular in West Bengal which is a state in the eastern part of India. It is very easy and quick to prepare. At the same time, I would like to say that this is not a sponsored video and you can even try this recipe in a regular pressure cooker. So let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is to make a sauce which will also act as a marinade. You must be thinking that what is she even saying? You heard it right. This is the only prep work that you need to do for this recipe. This marinade will do all the job for you and of course the instant pot is there that will do the cooking for you. I need plain unflavored yogurt, no vanilla flavored or any kind of flavored yogurt, but just plain unflavored yogurt. Then I will be using this thing called spicy brown mustard. You will find this in the section that keeps flavored sauce and condiments at your grocery store. But do not buy mustard sauce. Buy something that just says spicy brown mustard on it. And it should not contain any other flavorings other than vinegar, water, mustard seeds and salt in it. It also comes in small jars as well, so if you do not want to buy a large bottle, then you can also buy a small one. Or if you are lucky enough to have any Indian store nearby, then you can even buy this thing called Kashundi. This really goes very well in this recipe, but today we will stick to the previous spicy brown mustard option. I need a heaped tablespoon of the brown mustard paste. Then half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of red chilli powder. You can use less or maybe leave it out if you do not want to make it spicy or you can even use paprika. Then I need salt. Remember the mustard paste already has added salt in it so add less salt to start with. Then half a teaspoon of sugar to balance the flavour and finally some oil. I am using mustard oil as I am from West Bengal and we love cooking fish in mustard oil but you can use any oil according to your preference. Mix everything very well and this is all the preparation that you need to do. Now all the things that you have added so far are completely edible so before adding the fish taste the sauce at this point and adjust the seasonings. I have taken salmon fillets today. You can use any fish according to your preference. My sauce needed a little more salt so I am adding some to the fish. Now mix the fish very well with the sauce. After that keep it aside for 15 to 20 minutes so that the fish gets marinated. 20 minutes done. Now I forgot to add one ingredient earlier that is cumin powder. When you are following the recipe add it along with the turmeric powder and chili powder. Now I will be putting the fish in this steel bowl and then I will be putting this steel bowl inside the instant pot. You can even use a box like this, like we say in India a tiffin box. You can use any other heat proof bowls. Add all the fish in the bowl along with all that marinade. Scrape out till the last drop as you do not want to waste any of that goodness. I even need some green chilies that I have slit at one end but these are totally optional. They give a nice smell if you use it in this way. And finally add some more oil on top. Then cover the bowl tightly with an aluminum foil and this is all that you need to do. Now my instant pot came with this inner stand. I think your pot also came with this. Put this in the inner pot. Then add hot water up to the mark 2 of the inner pot. I always use hot water whenever I cook in my instant pot as that helps in building up the pressure at a faster rate. Place the bowl on the stand. Close the lid of the pot. Then adjust from venting to the sealing position. Next press on manual or the pressure cook function if you have a newer model. Then adjust the time to 4 minutes. Now let the instant pot do the job for you. Thank you. 
After the Instant Pot sends off the beep, once the cooking is done, press Cancel to switch it off. Wait for the pin to go down before opening the lid, allowing it to release its pressure naturally. Ok, so the pin has gone down, so open the lid, use oven mitts to pick up the container or wait till it is comfortable enough to handle. And see that gorgeousness. I mean, how simple can that be? Garnish it with some fresh coriander leaves. This is a perfect weeknight recipe too. And this goes best with hot steamed rice and some salad by the side. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing along with that bell button so that you can get notified each time I post any video. Bye bye!